Hey yo, what's goody all my beautiful people out there in the tube of the U? It's your boy Jay Nuck over here at Hookanucka, and today I got a brand new discussion for all of you. All right, so I know I said in the last discussion video it was gonna be over just reviewers, but I decided to chuck that idea and open up the discussions to any and every topic hookah related possible just for all of you. So this is gonna be my thoughts on new hookah reviewers. So first and foremost, if you're sitting at home and you're smoking hookah and you're thinking, hmm, what's a way I can get free sh Sorry to disappoint you, but hookah reviewing on YouTube is not the way. Now, that is a perk that comes along with it, but it should not be the sole reason you are getting into reviewing hook on YouTube, no. So now that all those people probably clicked off the video, I need all of you aspiring new YouTube reviewers for hookah to come in a little bit closer and listen up. So you ask yourself, why should I do reviews? Well, the first answer that comes to mind is to help people. You wanna help people to make the best informed decision possible before they purchase a hookah flavor, a hookah product, anything hookah. You want them to have your advice in their head so they make the best decision and enjoy the product. Now the next answer that comes to mind should be, I wanna share my knowledge and everything that I've learned over the course of smoking hookah. I wanna share what has worked for me personally and then just evaluate new items on the market maybe that I'm unfamiliar with but then I review them and I test them and I learn about them then I can inform everybody on what my findings were from my personal perspective. Now you ask yourself, well Jay Nut, how do I even review? Where do I begin? Now I want you to think long and hard of what you've searched for on YouTube and what you wanted to learn and know from those videos that you've searched. Understand the viewer by being the viewer yourself. Seek out, well, hmm, when I first started or last week I searched for this and I wanted to know this, boom, there you go. That's your first step. Well, okay, cool, I've covered those bases, j Nuck, but what am I gonna review? Think about the hot items that are being talked about amongst all the different hookah communities. Think about some of the confusion on some of the products that have come out. You get that product, attain it, test it, draw your own assumptions, and then you inform that to people. Or if people have had complaints about something and you've had experience with it and you really didn't have complaints, revisit the product and see what your findings are. And there you go. You are going to address current events that are happening in the hookah world and people will tune in to watch. Now once you've established yourself a little bit and you've addressed some of those issues and hot topics, then you can go into your own personal favorite items that you've experienced that come across in your whole hookah career. This gives the viewer a chance to get to know you on a more personal level. It offers some relatability that in turn transitions into repeat customers. They're gonna come back and watch more because they were able to relate to you on some things. So that's always a beautiful thing. It's always cool to watch somebody that kinda has your same opinion or flat out somebody that's just entertaining and they were able to learn that because you created that relatability and you shared some personal experiences of your own. Now Jay Nug, that sounds great. That sounds like exactly what I wanna do, but what do I need to review? Very simple, I'm gonna show you what I'm recording on right now. It's that simple. What you just saw is a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I think we're on like the seven now, I don't even know. But all you need is a phone or a camera that records in HD and that is step number one. Now you want your viewers to see you, so make sure you're in a room that has decent to great lighting. You can buy all the extra floodlights and all those fancy things, but I don't have any of that stuff. So as long as you have some decent lighting and you can see everything clear, then you're good to go. Poor lighting is probably not gonna get the job done. 
Now, one of the most important things to have is a personality. You have to include your personality or you're just not gonna come off as relatable to anybody. You gotta have energy. You gotta bring that energy. Energy makes it fun. It keeps people's attention. It holds the viewer's attention and you want that because who wants to listen to a boring review? What's up guys? This is, uh, there's my hookah that I'm reviewing today and it, it smokes good. It does uh, what it's supposed to. Man, hell no! Nah. Get that bougie, boring energy out of my sight. I'm instantly clicking off that video. I'm not watching that, sorry. The last thing you wanna remember that's super, super important is consistency. Now, I personally have a great work ethic when it comes to these reviews. I always try to record and edit ahead of schedule so I don't have to rush anything out. There's nothing worse than a video that you can just feel is rushed and you feel like, ah, I feel like the reviewer is missing some information and they're just trying to get this review out to me. That's no good. It doesn't help anybody and it doesn't make you look that great. So just try to be consistent, form a good work ethic. You can make the time. Everybody, I have two jobs. I have a full-time work from home job, which definitely helps, but I also have a part-time job. I'm a full-time dad. So if I can make time, I really don't wanna hear the excuse that no one else can make time. Find it, make it if you really wanna do it. The last key to success is going to be networking. You have to talk to your community. You have to find out what they wanna know. How can you help your community? Ask yourself that. How can I make my community better? What can I do? And you have to interact. You have to know what these people want in order to gain their viewership. It's very simple. So I see a lot of this in the community and I see when people that are newer to our social leisure activity of smoking hookah they have questions, and I see a lot of people start picking on them. Don't be that person. Help them. Help them versus picking on them. That way it, it forms a relationship between you and that person, and there you could have gained a subscriber just in that one question that they had. You helped them out. Why wouldn't they refer back to you for other questions and subscribe to your channel? Also in networking, you need to form relationships with companies. If they provide a service or a product that you enjoy, let them know about that if they are accessible. If they make themselves accessible to the whole community, take advantage of that. That is how you network and build relationships. And you have to build an honest relationship. You can't come at them and be like, hey, so I liked your product, can you send me one for free? That's not gonna work. That reverts back to the very first thing we talked about. Don't do this for the free stuff. Do this because you have a passion for it and you really truly wanna help people and share your knowledge. All right, so the last bit of advice I have for you is to never, ever, ever, ever bash a product. Now that doesn't mean you can't be honest about it, but the way you go about it is very important. That goes back to networking and building relationships with these companies. A key thing to remember as a reviewer is that not everybody is you. If there's something you don't like about a product or if there's a flavor that you don't typically enjoy, that doesn't mean no one else watching your video is going to enjoy that. As far as the product goes, express your concerns. If it's something you wouldn't revisit because of a certain malfunction, definitely talk to the companies about it and give them your feedback. But if you wanna include that in your video, which is totally cool and it's okay, it's, it's honesty and that's something that I do, but I always include, this is my own personal opinion. If you're looking for X, Y, and Z, then this would work for you. But me personally, it's just not my thing or if it's a flavor. Uh, I really don't like bananas. So does that mean everybody else in the world will not like bananas or this flavor if it tastes just like bananas? No, so your job as a reviewer is to explain this tastes like a fresh batch of bananas. Now me personally, I don't really dig bananas, so this is not for me. But if you love bananas, you're gonna love this product. So that's gonna wrap up this discussion. I hope you were able to take some of this advice and apply it to yourselves. And if you feel like it's good advice, definitely leave that in the comments below. If not, then that's cool. Definitely share your comments and concerns as well. It could provide for a great discussion in the comments. 
And I'm all about that. I'm all about that interaction. The last piece of advice I want to leave you with, I know I said that already, but I just thought of this. You can't care what people say in the comments. There's going to be trolls. There's going to be people that just don't like you. That's okay. It's just the internet. Don't worry about it. It's not going to affect you. You're helping way more people than that one person, that one hater that's hating on you. Do not worry about them. Life will go on, and I promise you, you will still live to see the next day. So just don't even acknowledge that stuff, because when you acknowledge it, that provides fuel for their fire, and they're just going to keep burning and burning and coming at you. So that concludes the discussion. I hope you like the direction I'm taking this. Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all on the next one. Deuces.